I'm going to be showing you guys how to get 240 FPS on any laptop or PC for free. So the best way is to use GeForce Now as a lot of times your FPS is stable compared to if you play on your own system, especially if it's a very bad system with low end specs, playing on GeForce Now will help you a lot. For me personally, I use GeForce Now while I play Warzone, as Warzone for me on my laptop runs around 40 FPS, very unplayable, but when I hop on GeForce Now, I get around 100 FPS, which is way better. They also have different memberships for better connection and a higher performance gameplay, and if you want me to give away any of these accounts, let me know down below as I do have some of these accounts that I use. Alright, when you load into GeForce Now, as you guys can see on my FPS, it is kind of stable. But for unlimited FPS, we'll see how much we get. So unlimited FPS, we can get around 200. Keep in mind, I'm getting 200 while recording on like 4K. So like, so the thing about GeForce now is that when you get into like heavy fights, your FPS might drop like sometimes. And that uh, GeForce now does have a bit of delay. Like if you play on like regular and then you play on GeForce now, you can feel the delay. But there are some ways where I can reduce your latency and your delay so you guys can have a better playing experience. So one way is having a stretch resolution on GeForce Now. On your settings tab, click F11 and just drag the screen into like a very small box. Put that small box in the middle and drag it all the way to the left and then drag it down. Just like that and then click F11. And as you guys can see, you have stretch resolution on GeForce Now. This does reduce your delay and latency, and it also boosts your FPS as there's less pixels to render, and overall just gives you a better playing experience. Another thing is under your GeForce Now settings, make sure to copy all these settings right here. Max bitrate on auto, resolution on 1920 by 1080 frame rate on 60 fps e-sync on adaptive and adjust for poor network conditions make sure to have this on as this does help a lot if you have a bad connection while you're playing games it does adjust for you so you don't crash or anything the next thing is improving your ping if you have better ping and connection you have a closer connection to the geforce now servers which allow you to play better on geforce now having better performance less delay all that so for this solution, make sure to go to my FPS pack, which is on my Discord, and that'll be down in the description down below. And go down to batch optimizations and just run the clear DNS catch, which is going to improve your ping. And it's going to help for GeForce Now a ton as I tried it for GeForce Now and it helped me a lot. 